<laughs> Y'all know what this is, but they come. Let go. I see all my neck diamonds, they dance on me. I just bought a new Patek, I need a new Rolly. When I pull up to the jewel, I need a two-tone piece. I put these on the way, but they can't clone me. I see all my neck diamonds, they dance on me. I just bought a new Patek, I need a new Rolly. When I pull up to the jewel, I need a two-tone piece. I put these on the way, but they can't clone me. Got this brick of ones, get the throne. Away. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Jen Gates, man. Clone me, man. You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. We got a special guest today, Dion. Shoot your lights out, Philly cheese waiters. Yeah, listen now, hold up, hold up. If I would have ran across him in the playground, I'd have crossed him over. And when I had my game, I mean, you sell it. They all wanted me back. I did, I did have a game back in the day before I messed my ACL up. I go I by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. I mean, right here is our producer, Dev Nasty. The Nasty One. And listen, man, this this right here, Million Dollars Worth of Game, is brought to you by and sponsored by Springfield Hyundai. Listen, since we got cheese here, I know you drive all type of exotic cars. Mm-hmm. So pulled he, up he, in he the might back. Have, yeah, pulled up in something crazy, but he might have heard Hyundai and don't know that my people could hook him up. Mm-hmm. But you want a helicopter? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want a jet? <laughs> mm-hmm. You want the Bentley to come out in 2023? Springfield Hyundai could get it for you. And guess what? What? If he if he bought us the jet, he has a seven million dollar house. He can land the jet. On. Yes. <laughs> so 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 he, he got, got a runway and everything. Oh, that's a runway. He got a runway. He got a runway at they the crib. A, on the back, you can fly. You can, like you, jets and shit can drop there. Shit. In the front. Be, in the front. I messed up, man. I messed up my fucking ACL. If I'd have been in the league myself, I went. I took the wrong route. I, if I'd have knew that, that instant gratification. Yeah, you were supposed to go to Penn State, but you went to the state Penn. Yeah, they, they, a lot of Penn State, <laughs> Penn State wasn't me. The Ohio and, State. And listen, me. he he ain't just get out in four years. He wanted to stay get his masters. <laughs> he wanted to stay get every degree. <laughs> Nigga did 20 years. But once again, man, Springfield Honda, they're gonna hook you up with everything you need. Listen, if you out there and you got challenge credit, but you got a job, you bring in some income, they're gonna hook you up. They got some new programs coming. But check them out, Springfield Hyundai, 8449 Drive Now. Check them out, Springfield Hyundai, 8449 Drive Now. Let's get into it, man. Okay. We got we got a Philly cheese in the building. Yes. AKA Deion Waiters. AK the number four picking the draft, right? Number four, mm-hmm. okay. I was Syracuse, right? Facts. Let me ask you a question, man. How you enjoying this NBA life, man? Oh man, I mean it's amazing. Like it's something I dreamed about my whole life, man. So I feel like I put the work in. And um, you know, we here now. We here. I'm doing my thing. And uh I'm just trying to inspire, man. Inspire, motivate the next up and coming, man. We got a lot of talent in Philly. I just feel like is is up to us to like the older guys. You know, I'm still young, but I feel like I'm, I'm an OG in this thing now. You know? okay. So I feel like um just all the kids that that look up to me, who who reach out to me, like you know, I I try my best just to you know to, to give them the real game, to, to reach back out. You know, I come back home, they see me, they feel mm-hmm. me, and um you know that's what it's about, man. Just trying to pass this thing off and just keep this thing going, man, for the next you know next generation. Going into your eighth season. Got a new uh, teammate, Jimmy Buckets. Right. That y'all stole from Philadelphia, but it's all good. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, he made a decision, man. <laughs> you, know, you know. But um, what you what you foresee in the upcoming season, man? I know uh, you Philly healthy now. Yeah, for sure. I'm back. Like, I, like this the this is the best I've been in a long time. And uh, mentally, probably, physically too, mentally and physically. I'm in a great place, bro. You know, some people preach that, but like. I'm really in that place right now. So um, I feel great, man. I put the work in all summer, mm-hmm. no matter what I had going on. You know, the work came first. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm excited to get out there and do my thing. So to all the up-and-coming young basketball players, athletes in general, around the around the country, around the world, that's trying to play professional sports somewhere, Right. what's the number one single thing that you would tell them that they should concentrate on the most? Uh, I would tell them to concentrate on, um, first and foremost, man, just being dedicated to the game. Like, if it's something you love, no matter what it is, doctor, cop, whatever you want to be, 
If you truly love that, man, you know, put the time in. That's that's the only thing you can do is put the time in. And the people that put the time in, I, I, I really believe that it come back. It really does come back. So believe in yourself, have faith in yourself. Never let nobody tell you what you can be, man, and go out there and do what you do. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, when I used to play basketball, you know, a lot of people know about me that do know about me. They, that's the only people that need to know about me. When I used to play basketball, <laughs> I got into a couple. I got into a couple fisticuffs in the locker room. So I just want to know, and that was that's that's part of how I messed my ACL up when a lot of teams wanted. But that's another story. Right. Uh, and uh, how many people like? Did you ever had to have any rumbles? And matter f- fuck all that. How many people got sucker punched in the locker room? Because I see dudes always tough yeah. on basketball courts. When nah. I do, whenever I did watch basketball, dudes be tough. You had any shit. physical altercations? I, no, I never had no physical altercation. You know, like what's the craziest thing game? you ever had seen happen in? No, in I mean, the NBA you, you, locker room you, you, or on a jet or I mean, on a plane or honestly nothing though like not with me I can't no, not with you. I, I can't I can't speak about that because I don't I don't know nothing never yeah, happened with me maybe, like they have all the like we you know we, we teammates we argue just frustration you losing so you argue you, you know you say words but I never me I never got into like a physical altercation you know stories came out a long time ago that was, that was false but like a lot of people don't play with me though, bro. So I love I really it. Got, <laughs> I really got that's that like, Philly like, shit. That's like, that Philly shit. Oh, no, you, like, you, know, you don't play with me. I ain't uh, going for that shit. No, for real. Like Knock all jokes, right out. like all jokes aside, yeah. like, they, don't, they don't play with me. Like nobody. Uh, come on, we ain't doing that, man. What's the top strip? The top three strip clubs you ever been to in your life? In my life, ooh, uh, Tootsie's, Magic City, Tootsie's, and mm. uh, Spearmint Rhino. Did you in go in the little back room in Tootsie's? Is Tootsie's the one down Miami? What back room? <laughs> is Tootsie's down Miami? Is Tootsie down Miami? Yes, it is. I heard about that joint. Uh-huh. I heard about this. It's a lot of Tootsie's walking around in there. <laughs> I heard about that, man. Go check it out. So Tootsie's, Magic City, and what else? And Spearman Rhino in Vegas. Spearman Rhino in Vegas. Yeah. In oh, Vegas? I never Vegas. heard about that. He said he's a legend. Nigga, <laughs> eyebrows when I'm a kid. Huh? Yeah. Oh, my God. Spearman Rhino. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's good. So... Man, listen, let me ask you a question, because Wallow is the king of the Red Rangers. Are you familiar he's lying, with Red he's Rangers? He's lying on me. He's lying on me. I never took a Red Ranger. <laughs> I never took that. I'm all natural. He's lying on me. He took a Red Ranger, and, and, and things, ain't, things ain't go right. It sounds like a pill. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a pill. We get Wallow up. He, 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 he's the king of the Red Rangers. He probably got like 60 of them in his bag. He's lying on me. So, he's lying on me. I never took no pill in my life. I don't know if you be yes, a little drained from your workouts and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is, this is, this is, nah, it's, it's cool. It pass all NBA tests. If I'm you ever solid. need some assistance, play it. Well, I got to do it. He's lying on me. He's lying he the plug. On me. And he keep Hulkamaniacs. Wait a minute, brother. He got the blue joints too. <laughs> He lying on me. I never did that. Why you keep lying on my? Come on, man. You put a smut on my name, man. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Oh no, I heard this before though. Yes. No, because of him. Listen, this this, he, this what happened. He took one. Two, no, he they, said, they hyped me. Two, he up. realized nothing was different. Nothing that nothing different happened. <laughs> You're, you're the same. You're the same. No, listen, they hype you just me up. don't got it no more. They hype me up, right? No, you take these. I'm telling you. I'm like, all right, cool. But I took it. Ain't nothing happened. I told him some dicks is unhandsable. You can't enhance them. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, I ain't getting no powers from it. My shit just was normal. Normal night, too. They ain't even know I took it. I asked. I said, baby, you, you know I took a Red Ranger last night? She's like, mm mm. No, it's just normal, babe. I mean, it's just crazy. Hey, so let me ask you this. Yeah. What made. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. What made you yell out fried rice? Cause that's what when you when you when you when you when you when you, when you smoke that good and you blind and you're just like, oh yeah, that nigga fried chicken. Look at him. He shrimp fried rice. He was going I, crazy that night. <laughs> I watched that video probably twenty times. Which one? Which one? That shit never about? got old to me. He was, he was drunk. Too he like, you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I recorded that. that I recorded fried that. Fried rice. <laughs> I recorded that. <laughs> I be listen, listen, see, this is the problem. He never drank or smoked in his life, right? Find that At all? Ever. Never. Not one time, right? My man and like that. Chuck out is like that. Then all he want to do is come to events and judge, and judge everybody. And judge everybody. <laughs> Look at you, you saw, see, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> yeah, you got that lick up. And, yes, nigga, it's an event. That's what we we yeah. supposed to do. We supposed to get a little saucy. All he want to do is judge people, man. Oh, why you never uh, I don't think it's good but you what did you think was good that's my question uh, I don't know man I just can't I just I, I used to be basically his chaperone 
Like when he get a little smoke, a little Reggie, or whatever. That's what I'm saying. You never hit a blunt to know this ain't for me. No, he no, tried he to. never. He tried never, to. Never. I caught a couple contacts. I did catch a How contact. Is it? <laughs> I didn't, you ain't like it. I'm gonna find this joint. Uh, I don't think it was really. It was that special. It wasn't really that interesting to okay. me. All right. I, and he never. He never uh, took a shot. He never. Yeah. Ever I'm in his life. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. Don't smoke weed. It's Thank bad you. for you. Thank you. See, somebody got some sense. Yeah. But you could take a shot because even even we out. This, it could be me. It could be him. Me. My wife. Him. His lady. And it's like. We all could have enjoyed time. You know, we all sitting and we laugh and we joke. We all on the same playing field and he all just right, sitting there sober as you shit. You take fake shots? No, I don't no, take no he, shots. No, he's going in. He's going in there. He going in and order ginger beer. Can I, can uh, I get no, you? No, the ginger beer was oh, really you drink, good for you. you drink mocktails. What the hell is that? That's that same shit you were saying about Michael Jordan getting champagne poured on. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't drink that shit. No, no. You swallow it. That's the difference. Whoa. Hey. That's the difference, that's my nigga. spicy over there. Hey, the difference is he'd have had his mouth open. <laughs> yeah, exactly. While they pouring exactly. champagne on the... Exactly. <laughs> that he's, ass nigga. He's scared to get excited. He understand what that's I'm talking why. About. He understand what I'm talking about. So, Cheese, you got to the league. Right. You get this money. Hmm. Did your family and friends change yeah. when you got the money? Yeah, absolutely. Not all, but you know, it's you have arguments and you go through stuff that you probably normally would never go through if you didn't have money. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, man. So what Biggie said, more money, more problems, huh? That probably was the realest line. If you in that position and you know you you got you you got a couple dollars, you come from nothing. That's gonna be like one of the most probably truest lines you probably ever hear in your life, bro. Cause I didn't understand until I got it. You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you, let me tell you the mindset of of niggas growing up in the ghetto. Dog, if I went to the league and I had twenty million, I'm giving all my niggas five million. I mean, give all my niggas a million dollars. <laughs> There's only four of them. That's four million. Then I got sixteen million to myself. <laughs> Like, yeah, see, shut that's, the fuck up. Exactly. A bunch you know, of niggas has never go to the league. Talk like that, right? But no, you know, it's like to be honest, man. And um, I had this conversation before. Uh, motherfucker saying like, if I had this, like I at least did this, I did that. How many times? Right. You know what I'm saying. And you gotta understand too when you in this game and you in this field and you know these taxes, you know Uncle Sam is coming. And, it, and your contract say 50 mil, 52 mil, whatever the case may be, you're not seeing that whole thing, man. No, you're seeing about seeing 34. Half, yeah, like you're seeing <laughs> half of that, man. Your, live, your, life, your, your, your lifestyle of living, you know what I'm saying? You probably got your mom giving her money every month. You got your girl giving her money every month. You got your kids school. Then you got their bank accounts. Then you got to look out for your pop. Then you got your pop side, you know what I'm saying? And then you still got your homies. And then old you, coaches, every, like everything, man. Everybody's coming. <laughs> everybody like, everybody got everybody's looked out, out the for to come up. Yeah, like so. But a, see, the problem with a, a lot person of black can't people, say I ain't never come through and look out. A person make it say, yeah, he should have. A motherfucker is always he should have did it this way or he should do it this way. Right. It's always the people telling you what you should do. It never had it. What you should do with your money. What you should do with your money. The shit that you put in. The time that you put in. The nineteen years it took me to get there. Right. Know what and I'm let saying? me tell you what, what, what's a lot of problem with black people. I can't. I can't say for white people because I don't know if this is their. I don't deal with enough white people to know if this is their problem. But I know with black people, it's all about what have you done for me lately. Facts. Fuck what I did for you. Two you weeks you ago. can help a motherfucker a thousand times. A thousand times, man. You say one time, no, mm, you ain't shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's sad. motherfucker in the world. And, be, and, and it be like you could be there for a person, man, through their darkest times, man. Like through their darkest times, and you there, like fuck the money. I'm talking about physically. You there? You talking to him? You 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 know you helping them through? You know you you there for him, right? And like I said, man, you say no one time, or you. Sometimes I don't even say no. I I ignore the message. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't even got to say nothing. You right. You should get the message. If right. I don't, if I right. don't reply to that, message. absolutely. You, know you ever get somebody like money and then they fucked it up, kind of, and then come they on, come back come and on, be bro. like, "Yo, I need that again." Come on, bro. Yes. 
Multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> Multiple times, man. Yeah. Multiple times, man. That that he felt. I, I felt that hey, from him. Hey, that trigger. Like, that trigger. He said, man, said, said, on, said the trigger. He raised up the shit out. Come on, man. Multiple, multiple times. Come on, man. And that, that's why I'm saying everybody free with lying. Damn man. it, like, man. I've been in a hole. Like, come on, bro. Like, you gotta understand, bro. This what type shit, of hole? What they was in jail? I don't know. I don't, bro. I be trying to figure that shit what out myself. What the fuck hole is they talking about? Jail? Listen, it's sweet out here. You don't have a lot of bills. Like, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, what the fuck is you doing with the money? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because now when you get the money, oh, all right, but then you, you, you at every restaurant, you know what I'm saying? You're getting clothes. You're doing it for you're the getting, grand. You're getting, listen, you're doing all the wrong stuff. I, I give you some money to help your family, and you're doing it for the gram. Come on, man. Like, you out here taking pictures of your food. Y'all going out back? <laughs> y'all, go, y'all go to more restaurants than me. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, right. come on, man. There's a lot of times, man. Like, I passed off a lot, bro, and I ain't talking about no 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 lower paper. You right. know what I'm saying? But you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, people favorite thing is, what have you done for me lately, man? Yeah, but, and, and it's sad. But you understand, like, if sad. I'm doing it because I'm doing it from the love, from the heart, I don't owe nobody shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't right. owe you nothing. If you're right. my homie, you're my dog, you're my dog. Right, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And once, listen, I'm going to tell you everything, man. Money will expose the, the frauds, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's going to expose, like... It'll show people, you who really your yeah, friend. Yeah, like, who was really your homie? Who right. was, like, was he really in it with me? Or, like, was he waiting, like, on this situation that, like, that happened? You know right. what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day... I ain't going to lie to you. Listen, I got a DM from, like, from one of my old homies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to cut off. You know what I'm saying? Cut him off completely. Burnt me out. You know what I mean? And and when I signed, when I signed you know, my contract or whatever, you know, he wrote me, like, damn, bro, like... Understand this too. When you sign, yeah, everybody else around you feel like they signed it too. Right. You know what I'm saying? I never really, I mean, he said that I never really got it at first, but that was probably some of the realest shit he ever said because I see right. it. You know what I'm saying? Right, because everybody felt like we won. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm going to keep it all the way real. Like even, even when you got drafted, I, I felt proud. Yeah. I was, I, you know, and at the time, I didn't even know you like that. Right. But I, I just knew, damn, we got this nigga from Philly. He played for Syracuse. This nigga nice. Right. And I used to check you out. I'm like, damn, this nigga nice. Right. So when, then it was saying you could have been the number two pick in the draft. Right. It was in between like the number two, the number three, and the number four. Right. So I'm like, I'm sitting at the crib like this. Like, damn, young boy about to, yeah, damn, young boy. Yeah, you I'm feel not, what I'm yeah, saying? I'm not but, saying like we can't celebrate in that manner of like, damn, dog, like you really did it, but. Understand, man, like, when I didn't have it, man, like, the relationships was so tight, it was so right. close. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now, like. And, and, and then a lot of times, motherfuckers got to understand how to find a position. Exactly. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell people, too, like, I'm not a rapper. Right. <laughs> so we don't, we don't tour. Right. I'm not going to every city. Right. Absolutely. I don't need 10, 12 niggas with me. No, I just need a personal assistant. And I have that. Right. So anything we doing is, is on the strength of we out. We balling. We right. going to go have fun. We going to enjoy life. Right. And that's the first couple years when I first you know got what I no, got. Because at the end of the day, you young. You're you young, from the you, ghetto. Yeah, so you, you come from that. You got to get it out your system. You got to get out your system, man. So that's what we was doing. Like, like I said, so it's really not no position to fight over. Right. Like, you my dog. Like, we going to be cool. Now, okay, I'm older now. Let's get in position. Let's 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 talk. Right. Let's make businesses. Let's get businesses. Let's let's invest. That's what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like let's try to let's try to, to let's try to plan for our kids' kids. Yeah. Y'all want me to come here and pass off this? And then you fuck it up. Then, then I gotta pass then gotta, off again. Then you gotta come you right back to up. me. No. Then I pass off again. So, this ain't no rotating door. At all. Yeah. Yeah. And I let that happen a lot, man. I think a lot of people got, you know, comfortable with that. Right. And now that Things have changed, you know. You see the attitude. But see, you know what it is? I don't even really think you let it happen a lot. No, I not. think that when you just young and you've come into some money and you know, it be especially it be it be like a, a pride thing, like, damn, I walk into the Gucci store with my man. I can't come in here and buy some Gucci shit, my man not leave out with no Gucci Any, shit. I feel like a suck ass nigga. Anybody like, anybody around here let you know, bro. If I walk in any store, we all come out with something. That's what I'm saying. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, want... I used to be on tour with Cash Money. Mm-hmm. Birdman are going somewhere. He going to buy some. You got nine artists. They like this, just looking. <laughs> come on. 
Facts. <laughs> they might pick up a jacket and say some shit like, yeah, this joint nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what, they want a nigga to be like, you want that joint? You want to get that joint? Oh, I get this joint. So, so, so. Yo. At the end of the day, but, I know, I know, Cheese, you was the nut ass nigga in there picking that jacket up. <laughs> hey, Birdman. Yeah, fuck is it talking? Don't say nothing about my man Birdman. You nut ass nigga. <laughs> you nut ass. You was the nigga. Bird, can I get this? <laughs> Like a nut, you nut ass nigga. Nut ass nigga. Everybody around Cash Money uh, got them contested. That That wasn't never me. (laughs) But it was a few artists that was around that motherfucker that was like, like, and I understand what he's saying about, you know, when you got money and niggas don't got money around you, one of the one of the most fucked up things that I seen, like being a rapper and being on certain labels like Cash Money being an example. Niggas had to wait for Birdman to get up to eat. That's fucked up. Right. Like, you. So, so what like, you was like, sitting like, on the couch like, waiting for him? You was outside his door? Like, <laughs> what the fuck was you waiting? Like, first of because all. Because you I, telling the story, so I'm figuring you're not asking. First of all, you, first of all, my, first Early in the morning, you out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, Bird. What happened to nigga. that fool? Who's another ass nigga? Who's another? It was your nut ass. Right. He's another thing you talking about. Right. I'm talking about the part you said about the fool and all that. That's why you don't want to cheese. Niggas got to wait. No, First of all, that was never my situation. But but that's crazy. up situation. So you waiting on another man in the free world. You from Philly, so your mentality a little different. Yeah, my mentality was way different than than other niggas that was around cash money. You know what I'm saying? Like, Niggas know I only got one fake check one time. Yeah. But this but this but this the whole that, thing. Would never happen again. Should nobody be out here, but should nobody right. be out here in this damn time in the world waiting for another man to do anything for him? Right. If you're a man, your responsibility, your woman, your kid, and all that's your responsibility. That's not another man. Oh, damn man, I can't pay. How can you and, go to another, and another man say, about your bills? And not saying and, and, and let's keep it the, the reality of this is it's not it's life not get that. hard. For life is sometimes life could kick your ass, right. and sometimes you might need some help to get pulled and up I don't out have the no mud. Problem with that. I done got pulled up out the mud before. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like that just being just just a part of reality. Right. Like, life. But the end of the day is 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 about what you do when a person pull you up out the mud. See, if a person could pull you up out the mud and then see that he pulled you out the mud, and your journey is okay, then. A motherfucker feel good. A motherfucker don't feel good when they pull you out the mud. Then you slide right back down in the mud. They got to pull you the fuck back out again. You keep you in the right. mud slide. You keep rolling the fuck back down. No, yeah, like, it's like, like I don't have no problem helping somebody, man. Right? Like, I don't. Like I helped a lot of people, man. But they say, well, he could have did this. He could have did that. I didn't. I help. Right. No matter what you say, Absolutely. I did something I didn't have to do. And you can't judge me off about how much I help a motherfucker. Exactly. So like, and I'm allowed to say no. I'm exactly. allowed to say yeah, I'm, I, allowed people to say are allowed to say want. no, and it's a title in the world. <laughs> right. You can say no because God damn, no is like the end feel of like the world. Entitled, man. Like a lot of people, man. I feel like what makes you feel like that? Because what we came up together, we came from that. I didn't. I feel like I did my part. I did right. a lot of things. I used to come to all I, your games. Nah, nah, <laughs> not that. I'm just saying, like, how much I got to do, bro? I never missed a high school game. That's worth a million dollars. <laughs> Or just watching other niggas' pockets. People donate money and people be like, oh, that's Hove. He could have gave 10 million while he only gave one. That's how people think, man. Let me ask you a question. Of all times, in your books, the top five rappers of all times. All right, I'm, I'm probably a little younger than y'all. I'm not yes, saying please. Y'all Whatever you want to say, shit. it don't matter. Um, isn't it? My top five, um, Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper of all time. Mm, I told mm. Gilly that. Appreciate you. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. He's a hater. He's a hater. He's a hater. I didn't know you felt about me like that. Yo, that's crazy. Stop, stop doing that, man. That's crazy. Stop doing that, man. Let the record reflect okay. for, the, for the audience out there. Gil and Lil Wayne is cool. We are. That's my guy. Lil Wayne lied. I mean, Gil lied. He did not write his rap. <laughs> he talking about Carter too, Wayne. Hey, you wrote that shit for real? No. First of all, first of all, it's already no, it's, no, no. We not you lying, cuz. First of all, it's already no, footage of them happened. out there saying I did what I did, but I ain't get paid what I said I got paid. So we don't even got the that's right, dance on the record. This, I will say this, baby said what he said. Oh, oh. I, he is. I call Pusher right now, nigga. He was in the studio. You always with trying us. to tell me you gonna call somebody. Call don't Pusher put nobody right else. Oh, right. You always trying to. I'm asking. For, I'm asking you. Yeah. Okay. 
Always looking for a cool did defendant. I, did I? I'm gonna call push it right shit? now. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And Wayne no, dissed see, me I for was, the record. But Wayne dissed me. A song called Problem thing. Solver. Wayne dissed me. Let's keep it real. He called you uh, Willie the Squid. That was the shit. second joint. Uh, the first joint was Gilly. You don't want to fuck with me. The gonna be busting and right, breaking we, we it. Listen, okay, cool. We need to hear so, all that. So, so that's <laughs> when nobody I, cares. That's when I did. Nobody what I cares. Did. That's over with. You know I mean? well, go ahead. I'm asking about it. That's, what I, that's what I did. I don't think I think you're lying. I don't think you wrote for me. It don't matter what you think. I, I wrote for get, you, I nigga. W- you never wrote for me. Yes, so you ain't never write shit for me. Yes, I, I was did, better nigga. than you. Don't fuck I was out better here. than you. Let's go right now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Go ahead. Pop something. I'm go ahead. Bust a move. Hold on. God damn it, little Wallo. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you is. You a wild hoe. You don't want it with the kid, nigga. I take it there. Nigga, make it fair. Nigga, rake your head, ho, you ain't got none. You ain't got a gun. You ain't pop nothing. You ain't drop nothing. You need to stop fronting. You's a bitch, nigga. We, uh, no, it's not playing, dog. Nah, nah, take what? it there. It's my turn oh, now. Go ahead. Nigga, I'm from Philly. Fuck Gilly. Oh. You the king of silly. Oh. <laughs> king of silly. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> oh. You trying to be like Mike. You trying to be wet willy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep playing. You gonna be hey, lame. Bro, we have... Keep playing. You gotta stop keep saying playing. that about Michael Jordan. Listen, no, listen, hold, hold, he, no, I ain't said shit about Mike. No, Mike's the goat. Listen, too, stop, keep playing. He you mad because Mike keep winning. Why you, keep going. Mad, why you hating on my rap? Keep playing. You gonna be laying. Somewhere on the stand. Pointing your hand. Mm. Damn, man. You sound like it's 86, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I killed you. I just killed you. All right. Who's your top five rappers? Wayne is one. Uh, Wayne. Uh, Rose. Jay-Z. Um, Meek. And um, cat out of Nashville named Starlito. Damn, I know, I know Starlito. Starlito was on Baby Album. Exotic. Yeah. Yeah, I know Starlito. That, that ain't listen, he got. No, yeah, he got. He, ain't nobody. No, you nigga ain't name one East Coast nigga, West ain't, Coast nigga. Got enough. To. <laughs> Nah, I, I, I he never, said Jay Z. Oh no, he said Meek Mill. Yeah, he said Jay Z. He said Meek Mill. Okay, cool. All yeah, right. but I, I grew up in the, I grew up in the South, so like. I, Okay, who's your top five new artists? Like the younger. Uh, oh, you don't listen to the man. Yo. I like I like Uzi. I like um What could go? Who I like? Uh, um Lil Baby. Lil Baby is hard. Um pause. Cause you not I don't do that. Not not um yeah, so uh I like baby, I like Uzi. Mm. I don't know. I think I'm at that age where I'm just listening to the shit that I used to. Okay. Yeah. I don't listen to a lot of this shit. A lot of it sound the same to me. No disrespect to nobody. Just, I just think everybody's singing. It is. It's okay. a lot of people singing. And you more of the the rapping. Yeah, I want. Uh, yeah. So you're not really. You, you, how how like how do you feel about Drake? Drake dope. Like uh, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick is hard. Do you listen to him, but you or you just acknowledge that the nigga's nice? I listen. I listen to both of them. Yeah, I think Drake is in my top ten, but the question was five. So oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So what about J Cole? You know what? I don't listen to J Cole. I think J Cole is dope. Yeah. I think he's really dope. I just don't think it's for me. Yeah, everybody's not for every everything. I like J Cole. Yeah, like I listen to it, and a lot of the messages probably just ain't ain't for me. But I think he's a dope artist. I think everything that he stand on, everything that he's built his career off of, is is hard. You know who I really like? I I really fuck with Lil Durk. Lil Durk is my fucking man. How yes, you Durk. I'm tripping. Maybe because our relationship is different than just yeah, yeah, just what's rap that? shit. Yeah. So yeah, Durk for I sure. I fuck with Lil Durk's Heavy. albums. I listen, man. Dirk probably check on me once every two weeks, bro. Just randomly, like, bro, you good? Like, I'm just checking in on you. Absolutely. Outside Solid of Dirk, dude. outside of Dirk, who else that a lot of people might don't know that somebody out there is big and whatever field they is that 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 you got a good brotherhood with that check on you? You know, a lot of times when we in a limelight, like, a lot of times people only call you when they want something. Who call you to check on your well being? That somebody that, that's a real popular person. That, Demar Derozan. Oh, okay. Yeah, Demar Derozan. That's my. Dog, pots and pans. Like I We seen him play ball before, right? Mm-hmm. DeMar DeRozan plays for San Antonio. You should definitely have seen DeMar DeRozan play but, but He's out. DeMar DeRozan's no, a DeMar fucker. DeRozan, is he's a is he a dark skin? No. Did he play for the Celtics? Fuck no. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> is he the dude with the, the stuff in no, the No, he's still playing right now. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? Oh, no, I'm but y'all got to understand, this is a motherfucker that said Sean Kemp should be in the top 50 players all Oh, time. no, 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 definitely. And, and, and Ray Allen. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> they ain't in the top Sean, 50, though. Sean, and they both play for Super Sonic. Yeah. That was my team back Let then. me tell you this, though. DeMar, and, um, DeMar, Kyle Lowry, Amir Johnson, and Chuck Hayes, those four dudes basically talked me out of retiring three years ago. Mm. Oh. So what you was going through depression? Yeah, actually I was. So was real. what ended up happening was um, I went to six man in Toronto, um, and they didn't want to bring me back because of some lifestyle shit, you know, because I had the, had that going on, and I guess it was some complaints with the wives or whatever, and so they didn't want to bring me back. They didn't want to resign me. That's a rumor, by the way, but I think it's true because that that shit sounds about right. But um, so I go to the Lakers. Mm -hmm. um, had a had a year with them. Then the next year, I was with the Lakers. So I played with the Lakers. The Lakers traded me to Houston. Houston traded me to the Clippers. This is all in a, a span of six months. Mm. And so I'm sitting there thinking to myself, shit, maybe this is it. You know, if, if no teams see my value, no, no teams see my worth, they bounce me around like a little cheap hoe. Like, it's time to go home. Right. And they was they basically talked me off the ledge. You know, I told them I was like, you know, I'm a, this is gonna be my last year. I'm gonna finish this year out, and I'm just gonna fade to black. And Demar was like, Well, look, bro, if this is gonna be your last year, you might as well go out and do what the fuck you want to do. And I did that shit and won another six man. You know what I'm saying? And that shit rejuvenated right. my whole energy. I found my love for the game again. Right. Yeah. Do you find? Do you think a lot of players like? Through their journeys, lose the love. For sure, for sure. Shit is so political. Like, How, like the career I've had, I've never made ten million a year. Wait, you didn't? Never. I, I've I'm, I've yet to make double digits. What? And you the six best player in the league? Shit, kind of crazy, right? That's fucking crazy. So you know. It's it's easy to lose it's easy to lose your love for this shit because it's business. Right. Because right now, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. To me, it's politics going on with Carmelo Anthony. It's like, you mean to tell me Carmelo Anthony is not good enough to come off the bench somewhere? Yeah. I I, I love the Sixers. We just signed yeah, four kind cork miles. I haven't been privy to exactly what's going on. We'll get to that. I have, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I haven't been privy to all the information about what's going on. Excuse me. What's going on with Melo? I, I know everybody yelling outrage, you know, so I don't really have an opinion on it because I don't got the information. But um, just from basketball, of course, Camelo should be on a team. Right. That's the, and, and, and bottom line is that's that's what we talking about, like basketball. But that ain't, that ain't it. That's the fucked up thing about it. Exactly. Like I wish it was like that where it was just clear cut. The best players make the most money and it ain't like that. It ain't like that. That shit about who can sell T-shirts for you, who can put people in the seats. All types of shit. Hmm. So, so you definitely believe that it's players overseas right now that could be playing in the NBA, and probably yeah, is and better some guys than guys that's in the NBA that shouldn't be in no fucking league. I respect that. Oh, so I sh I might could play in the NBA. No, Whoa. I'm not saying that. I'm saying. Oh, nah, that's it. <laughs> I'm just saying you don't even you didn't even see me play before. Well, um, I have seen you play before. <laughs> And oh, I don't think he can be Gilly. No, no he, he seen. Did you see me when I was he playing? Know I can't, he when know I was playing street ball with the kids, and I made the big shots. Out there with the Chuck Taylors on. <laughs> oh, Bush no, your no, shit up. No, no, he. I scored a lot of points that game. <laughs> Nobody hated on docking them. They played with Chucks on. <laughs> that's because they, they didn't have a choice. That was the only sneaks out. I just, back listen, then. man. Doc's a legend. We know which, Doc's who, which Doc we talk about. Doc Rivers. No, <laughs> Doctor J. Doctor J. Oh, okay. Doc Rivers a legend. There's only one Doc. No, Matter of fact, two. No, it's no, Dr. No, it's Dr. Dr. J and it's Dr. Dre. <laughs> no, and it's Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers. <laughs> Doc Rivers, he's just a good coach. He's nobody. Doc Rivers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> his Listen, when he paid for the Pistons, he was nobody. I was more out He didn't there. pay for the Pistons. <laughs> he didn't play for the, he he play for for the, the Pistons. Celtics. Hell no, nah, he played for the Pistons, man. Oh, I thought he played for the Pistons. <laughs> My fault. I had him mixed up with somebody else. Don't worry about it. I had he, I thought he played with Isaiah now. <laughs> no, Dennis Rodman played for the Pistons. <laughs> Right? Shut the fuck up. Bill Lambeer played for the Pistons. Okay. I know my history. How are you feeling that? I got $100 on Gilly one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> don't lose your little $100. <laughs> don't do that. Please don't. 
so it should be easy money for now if we play we playing jail ball and he's gonna lose <laughs> well what's jail ball you gonna keep hacking me no i'm just it's just rough <laughs> it's real rough they told me all i gotta do is say they in the yard with a knife you wake up to the yard. i ain't coming out i'm done i ain't coming out so let me ask you the question right your jumper silky all right I seen you dunk on niggas. Mm-hmm. I done seen I seen floaters from you. I seen right hand layups. I seen left hand layups. Either hand. I don't recall seeing too many reverse layups. How's your reverse layup game? I got I got a little bit of everything, man. Oh, you got that's a little on, bit of everything. On, that's on, yeah, so, I, so, I, I give it to you any type of way how you want it. Oh, so you do? So you do reverse layups? Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, bam, got him, got him. He got his dick sucked on the back. In the hood, we call that a reverse layup. Got him, got him. In the hood, we call that a reverse layup. He got his dick sucked on the back. Give it he up, Philly. He cheese. said he give it to her any way she I wanted. Give it to him any way they want. That's pause. Pause, pause, pause. Oh, Donald Duty. Yo, it's crazy. This shit is crazy. Shout out. Yo, this shit is crazy. Cheese. Hey, 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 I said it right up on the for real moment. He was like, yeah, I did. He said, nigga, what? Nigga said, I give him to him. I got all the moves. Hey, let's get into a million dollars worth of game. And this million dollars worth of game is brought to you by Have You Had Any Good Hair Lately? Everything. Diva Glam. You know, you know. Uh, us. Damn, it's crazy. There's only, only one person here. Yeah. yeah. That's how my way is. I'm mad as shit, shit in this joint, man. I'm like, why the fuck you came on here shit. with a fucking hairline, dog? Uh-huh. Yo, one, one question, because is it... Is Y'all it, gotta go is get it, that Deion Sanders, man. No, fuck no. We not fucking with Deion. <laughs> Deion said, Deion hated on me, man. Yeah. yeah. When we had Jericho's back in the day, he was a hater. But listen, this the whole twist, though. Let me ask you something before we get into that. Once again, this million dollars worth of game right here is brought to you by everythingdivaglam.com. But listen, is it against the law of the hood to wear wave cap in public? Because a lot of these young boys wear wave caps. Like, like it's just cool. Velvet joints and all that shit in public. Could you wear wave cap in public? Is that against the law? <coughs> I'm going to keep it real. In this new era, it's like anything goes, man. Say no more. Like, we, allowing, we allowing a lot a lot of that now. Say no more. Mm-hmm. As before, we used to have to stay in the house for an hour, put the do-rag on, brush your head, lay the waves down. Now, and they just rocked the Dewey, had the wing on, with the wing on. See, me, I had my Dewey in the car before I got out. I yeah, snatched it snatched off. It off. <laughs> See, you Because I'm a top. I ain't getting no cuts. So, you know, I'm a little wussy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You had to lay that shit down like know, baby hair. Yeah, lay it down real fast. You know. Dewey. Touch Niggas used to wear the Dewey with the hat on top, though. That no. was like a part of the whole. No, that was some Jersey shit. No, no, it wasn't. That was some Jersey shit. That was exactly. He know it's the bleak. He know. He he know. He know it's the bleak. Hey, I seen you with the do rag with the hat. You definitely did. Do rag with the ball. You had the ball. You got a boy in. Why you got a Dewey on? What the fuck is you wearing? I had no. I had no. I had a LeBron. I had a LeBron. I ain't have a ball. I had a LeBron. He tried to justify it so he can sound cool because he did it. <laughs> and he had the that joint with shit. the extended wing on it. The joint that comes in the middle. Is, you got the joint with the long wing. Oh, yeah, extended wings. And had the long wings, all that type of shit. Yo, man. Yeah, he had the... Yo, yo. He had the Michael Jordan come fly with me. <laughs> that joint. I believe I can fly R. Kelly <laughs> edition. Yeah. Wow, yeah, with a cape on the back. Yeah, the hey, hey, listen, man. So this guy in my DM say he needs some game. He said, OG, I was in Jersey. Speaking of Jersey, <laughs> corny niggas, hats and do-packs. No, I'm just yo, yo, you heard that? You heard that, Jersey? Shout out to Jersey. Yo, you buddy. heard that CMD? CMD. Hey, hey, I'm going to keep it all the way real. My, D- my DJ is from Jersey. That's some shit Olive Boy do. Uh-huh. Do rag with a baggy ass hat on. You can stick your hands up. In. New York niggas do that shit, too. They wear their head like eight sizes too big. You can stick your fucking hands up in them. <laughs> Scratch your head. And shit. Right, listen, I need some help, OG. I was in Jersey Thursday night and got robbed for eight thousand dollars worth of work. The people I work for are some serious cats, and I was just trying to do this till I found a job. They told me I have two weeks to get them two thousand as a good show of faith, but I have no other means of income, and at the moment I have two young sons that I want to watch grow up. I don't want to lose my life over eight thousand dollars. OG, is there any way you can help me? Well. Financially, I can't help you. You on your own player. You know, I don't pay off niggas' drug tabs. That's just not something I'm into. But um, you got to understand what you sign up for when you get in the game. See, you got in the game, you wanted to be a hustler. And then you ain't messing, you you ain't even out here. You ain't no $1,000 hustler. You ain't no 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 half an ounce nigga. You ain't $8,000 nigga. So you, you taking some work from niggas. 
and then you don't know how you're going to pay them off. And then when somebody burn you, now you in a situation. And now now you want to see your kids grow up, huh? You should have thought about that. Message to the young boys watching this. Stay the fuck in your lane, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Stop trying to... Matter of fact, while we got, while we got Cheese here, let me ask you a question, Cheese. Because Cheese come from the streets. He's not no dude that just come from in middle America and all that Cheese. What was it? What was it, Cheese, that, uh, that prevented you... From getting in the street. He's right there. He's right. right there in the south, right there in the hood. What prevented you from, you know, and help you stay focused? Uh, I mean, just first of all, my mom sold drugs. Uh, my pop sold drugs. My grandma sold drugs. My grandma got shot in the head. My mom been shot and my father been shot. You know what I'm saying? Cops ran in the house when I was 12, put the gun in my head. This at 12. So that's when I, I, I knew at that time, man, that, that, that's not for me. I'm saying, and I ain't want to be another statistic, you know. Like everybody preach they want fast money, but they don't understand with that lifestyle. It's only two things, man. You may end up dead or in jail or huh, or robbed, and you can't be soft out there in, the, in that field. So even if you're not like one of them type dudes, man, who can't hold his own, I don't think you should be playing in that water. There's nothing but sharks in that water. Absolutely, for sure. And if you can't swim, you're going to drown. And my man ready to drown. Absolutely. But see, the thing is, a lot just like this young guy right here, a lot of them wait till it's too late. See, he he didn't, he got a plan. Oh, I'm a hustle. I'm gonna get money. But he, he ain't think it's playing through. You know why? He thinking about oh, I'm gonna give me a rollie. Mm. I'm gonna give me a will. Talk to him. Them chicks gonna be on me. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna spill, I'm gonna spill champagne on the floor at the club. We ain't we ain't waiting in no lines. Right, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, yeah. I'm wait, telling you one thing. Waiting, I'm telling you, waiting at the end of that line. Yeah, that man with that ski mask. Yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? Absolutely. Now he came to Jersey without the without the uh, hat with the do rag underneath. They knew it. They knew he was from Philly, <laughs> <laughs> and it caught him slipping. That's what happened. Oh, oh, look at him. He, he ain't got one. to do. He ain't got to do it. He's not one of us. Yeah, he's not, <laughs> he ain't got to hey. with the cap on. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, right. So at the end of the day, to all the youngins out there, when you when you get a plan, you also got to think your plan through. You know, y'all just want to get home and sell drugs. I'm going to get out here. But then y'all taking a real nigga's drugs. Right. And y'all got to return some real money to a person. And then when you don't got the money and shit want to go left, now that's when y'all want to think about real life situations. Oh, I want to see my kids grow up. I don't want to die. I can't believe it. Jail ain't for me. Jail ain't for me. Oh my God. I don't want them to take my life about $8,000. Well, but, but nobody tell them that though. Like, like nobody tell them like what come with it too. Like, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, that's why me and I was worth a game is so prominent in the game because we here to tell y'all. It costs too much to be a criminal. And the flip side of this, the flip, too much. the flip side of the streets is very, it's very, very dangerous. It's very, very costly. It's costly, it's costly like a motherfucker. A lot of money. A lot I know. Of money I know firsthand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My homies just got 11 and a half. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And, you know, I be messed up about that shit every day because I wish I could have did something differently. That's 2020, but, 2030. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you can't change certain people's mentality, bro. If they, if that's what they do, and that's that's all they know. Even if you try to give them something different and it's not going as fast, they're going to revert back to what they know. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, it's, it's just not worth it because who had to go pay for the lawyer? And then and then, what's, some, and then exactly. what's sad out here is, I'm going to just keep it real. Some niggas don't want to know nothing different. Right. Some niggas really got dreams of being drug lords, man. Facts. They watch a lot of movies, listen to a lot of music. I, I watch a lot of that stuff, though. That's like my favorite movie. Like all like, my movies, like. Mm -hmm. Like but, some niggas really got dreams of they, being. They be, some niggas really think they're going to die the drug dealer with the house on the hill. Nah. And the reality is, you're going to die the drug dealer in Camp Hill. It's, yeah. It's one. It's, you got to think about it, man. And that game is 1%. 1%. It's one percent that 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 might slip, slip through that crack. It's right. that one percent. So at the end of the day, you got to understand. Like, listen, man. All right, I know when I'm. I know what I'm getting myself into. You got to have some soldiers around too. You know what I'm saying. So got to. You got to be like. And you can't even get money in your own city, man. That one not gonna last long. No, because it's too much jealous. Exactly. It's too much envy. 
it's too many too many niggas know your operation because if you getting money on 17th and Tasca and you tan it to fuck up, mm-hmm. it, guess who know? The niggas on 21st and Tasca. Right. The niggas on 21st and Snyder. The niggas on 19th and Dickerson. Mm-hmm. The, and guess who all them niggas plotting on? You. Because yes. that nigga slipping, boy. We taking that joint up off his wrist. We taking them chains up off his neck. We blitzing that nigga crib. We tying everybody up in that motherfucker. We want all the work. And then you know, in the hood, you could just be you could just be doing some some regular shit. You could right. just be maintaining a regular ass flip and making it look good. And then somewhere, some nigga somewhere talking about they got a hundred. It's a hundred bricks in there. My man told me. Seven thousand pounds in there. They they always make up these astronomical numbers of because what a one, niggas you know, is, what a niggas doing one thing before about they the break into your fucking house. One thing about the streets, they always gonna make the story seem so much more than what it is or what he's really getting. Absolutely. So now he's putting more pressure on that man. Absolutely. And he might not even got that. It just right. one of his homies might see him pull out a nice little, you know, something. And yo, I remember I was with Mang Man. He just bought out forty. Uh, right, and the whole, whole time, time it was seventy two hundred <laughs> with, with a lot of ones. <laughs> right, know what I'm and, saying? That, and, that, and 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 shit like that I could relate to because I remember back in the day, Gilly got locked up with a five hundred pack, and he said it was a five thousand pack. It was only five hundred dollars. <laughs> dollar caps, <cash. laughs> and one. it was dollar caps. <laughs> yeah, he had the dollar caps. You had five hundred dollar caps. He was in that ass nigga. How did you think he was going to get caught? <laughs> Tell me it was under my shirt. The cops saw it. I thought I was slipping. Yeah, use a nut. <laughs> a nut so listen, nigga. man, to all the youngins out there, the message involved in this is know what you're getting into and stand what you do. If you sign up for the streets, understand what you're signing up for so that when somebody burn you, somebody rob you, that's a part of the game. That come with the game. So understand when you sign signing up for the streets, you signing up for somebody to burn you, for somebody to rob you. You signing up for some jail time. Or you signing up to get shot. You signing up to go to the grave. Like like Cheese just said, 1% of niggas make it through. So just know your percentages is one out of a fucking hundred. If you like those percentages, <laughs> that's on you. But know what the fuck you signing up for so that when a nigga rob you in Jersey for that eight fucking grand, you ain't in my DM now, but I want to see my kids growing up. <laughs> you should have been thought about that shit, player. You should have been knew what you were signing up for. Like all these, all these young dudes, they want the glitz. They want the glamour. They want the fame. They want the money. They want the bitches. They want the dick sucks. They want all it, all of that that come with the life. But guess what? They don't want to do the jail time because he just said one percent. So that means ninety nine percent of niggas go down. And guess out out of that ninety nine percent, guess how many of them niggas tell? Probably seventy. Facts. A large percentage. It, it depends what they. What they're dealing with too. And and if they out there in that field for real, for real, and they really get into it, you know. Don't be one of them dudes that real don't don't be six nine. One of them like one thing about Don't be it, six nine. Don't don't be one of those dudes that realize the street shit ain't for you a lot when of guys, you get to jail. Yeah. A lot of guys getting football numbers, man. Right. And it ain't two to fours, it's fifteens and eighteens. But, no, but no, but no, but no, the jail is see, people gotta understand this. <clears throat> jail is just that's a part of them when you got the money. The violence, anything that go with getting in the streets. Jail is a part of that on that. Jail is on that list. Right. Jail in, in, in your janazza or your funeral, that's on the list. So, like I tell people all the day, it's a painful journey. That 20, that shit was painful. Grandma died, uh, brother died, uh, stepfather died. Like, motherfuckers just die. You just stuck in there. Just imagine being stuck in space. You're stuck in a time, you just stuck in a time capsule where you just like this in a cell every day. Going crazy. Going you can't crazy. Even, you can't even get no air. Going you can't crazy. even walk where you want to. You can't to. do what you want. You can't walk where you want. You can't eat what you want to do. Motherfucker, like your whole life is based off what these people telling you and all that kill it. Like, that's what's crazy. You'll see a dude come to jail. Oh, yeah, that's a little shoot everybody he ever met in his life. What? Yeah, he shot not. He was. And then you see this boy come down, white boy you never seen in your life. Lock it the fuck up. He run into his cell locking up. What happened? Damn, playboy. Where the fuck is the gangster at? 
What happened to all the gangster crazy right. shit? You go through all, we go through all this shit, and then you see a nigga that used to be drowning around, all the money, all the shit. He wiping table in the kitchen because everything going. Lawyer going, family. Hey, you, fuck, we fucking with you for. You ain't getting no money no more. That's how people, you see, I done seen niggas that was big time drug boards wiping tables in the kitchen, bro. Right. So it'd be like, motherfuckers don't understand, man. This shit is real. Hey, listen, man. We want to thank my, my my homie, man. A good dude. One, one, one thing I want to do is shout out Lou because since I met him, he's never changed, man. Always the same guy. You know, no matter where you see him at, he's always going to be the same person. And I, I just want to shout you out for that because a lot of people get money and they change. Appreciate it. You know what I mean? And even though you have never made double-digit millions, you still make the bag. <laughs> Everybody get money and they change. <laughs> no, they no, change, change, their, lo they he, change their location? Right, but he hasn't changed as a person. Oh, That's what I'm saying. So first and foremost, I want to thank you for that, man. I want to thank you for coming. Even, appreciate you coming through. Yeah, coming shout through. out Two Comma Clothing. Two Commas Clothing. Shout out to Two Comma Clothing. Pick up some of that okay. shit. Shout out to, you ain't give us nothing, man. You ain't even give that's, us nothing. That's an easy fix. Absolutely. Okay. One is United is the label. Anybody want to send some music to me or something, send it to one is United at gmail.com. One we, is United we, at gmail. We listen to artists every day. so. Absolutely. So you got the label you're trying to put some people on? Yeah, I'm trying to make a few millionaires. That's a goal of mine. Mm. And, and you know what? I, we was about to end the show, but I got to talk about this. I always talk about when you get to a certain point and God blessed you, who are you responsible for? Who are, who are you responsible for saying, I'm going to reach down and I'm going to pull somebody out the water? Because to me, that's legacy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you blessed to be who you are. But to see that you willing to say, I'm going to invest my time, which that's most important. Probably some of my finances, studio that I developed, marketing, promotion. And I'm going to try to make somebody else's dreams come true. Mm -hmm. You know, For sure. That's, I commend you on that, brother. Yeah, I definitely want, I definitely want to do that. You know, and I, I want to live vicariously through people too. You know what I'm saying? I would. I make music. I would love to be a fucking top selling artist in this and that. You know, that just ain't my calling. That ain't my lane. So I make my music for me. I'm actually gonna put some shit out soon, um, just for sport, just just cause I can. But other than that, I wanna I wanna help some people realize their dreams and, and and manifest their shit. You know, and I got a platform to do it. I got a bag to do it, and I'm passionate about it. You know, so it makes sense for me. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Shout out the label again, man. Hold up, I pulled you out of the water when I was still in the water because you didn't even understand that you was a rapper. I, I did. Made, I put. I made you a rapper. You did. How you make your how, how? Because what happened was he just he just was he just was okay, and I put him to the studio and polished his whole game up. Get the Not fuck out of here! I polished him. I made him. I made <laughs> no, him marketable. No, he did. I made him marketable. See, I wrote. I had one rap that and I, I told wrote you. in college. You know, in college playing basketball. You start away. rapping that late? Yeah. Start smoking weed, you know, 18, Reggie, Reggie. college, smoking weed with the gang. My man oh, had yeah. a setup. Reggie. My man had a little setup in his room. We Earth. just used to turn it on, smoke, say some shit, fall out laughing. One day we was like, we're going to write something. We're going to come back and record it. Came back and recorded. it. They never recorded they shit. Because when I dropped, they was like, yo, you ain't never think about being no rapper. What? I ain't no fucking rapper. Fuck is Yo, y'all tripping in this joint, man. Yeah. Come home. Start spitting. Got with this nut because he was already a rapper. We went to the studio and... Now hold up. News... Listen, he went to jail. News flash. This before rapping was a cool thing. What, this year, was, what year is this? This was like 95. Rapping was cool in 95. No, it was not. No, 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 not no. no, no not, and everybody not didn't rap. Culture. Like, how really was the thousand a rappers, rappers now? No, in no. In 95? No, no, it wasn't. It was, it was, I'm not it talking was, about as rappers. I'm talking about being in the ghetto and growing up in the hood. You might listen to rap, but it wasn't a thing where everybody was rap. Everybody no. was like okay. 10 artists in Philly. That's it. <laughs> like literally. Like literally. It might have been 10, listen, 15, 20 I'm artists. About, that. that was not cool. Everybody wanted to be a street nigga. Right. So now now it's a reverse. The street niggas want to be rappers. But back then, the rappers looked at the street niggas and took, they got influence from them, the way they dressed. Why the way you everything. stop rapping? Man, I went to jail. <laughs> jail stopped rapping. That's what stopped rapping. <laughs> jail stopped they, all that shit. You see what I'm saying? But 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 what happened was it was a different time. And I'm telling him, like, yo, you're hot. Like, what is you doing? Took him to the studio. 
You know what I mean? I signed him to raping you records. You know what I mean? He signed, <laughs> I signed him for like I signed him for like some food with cheese steak and shit like that. He signed up and it was a wrap. We was out of here. But listen, man, we ready to sign out of here, man. Listen, man, I'm Wallow267. Man, I'm Gilly the King. Hold on, man. Shout out to my guy Garcia over here. Yeah, as Garcia well. in there, yeah. He got some new building. music out, man. I'll go check Ape Gang Garcia out on all platforms. On everything. Man. I want to shout out Garcia, man. Shout Got out to plug. Lil Will, man, for coming through, man. This is million dollars worth of game. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. And it's just like that. Right. But, Lou, like, you, you going to come through here and not spend no bars? <laughs> Ain't no angels in the city of. Cause Lord knows I've done the devil's work to plenty of y'all. Broken halo, fallen soldier, y'all been misinformed. Sly smirk, curly hair, conceal my evil horns. See, I've been facing accusations on a daily basis.